This is ANN News Brief. Malia, Liberia and Benin Republic have recorded their first cases of the deadly virus. Tanzanian Health of Ministry, Ume uh, Walimu, announced on Monday the patient is a 46-year-old Tanzanian woman who had arrived in the country from Belgium on Saturday. The minister said laboratory results have confirmed the patient has coronavirus. The government has advised citizens to postpone non-essential travel to countries that have reported cases of COVID-19. Meanwhile, Somalia has also reported its first coronavirus case on Monday as well. Health Minister Fazia Abikar says the patient is a Somali national who has returned to the country after visiting one of the nations affected by the virus. The health minister said the patient is one of four returning Somalis from China who were isolated and tested. Her results came out positive. Experts say a COVID-19 outbreak in Somalia could be devastating to the country's uh, healthcare system. Almost every aspect of social life has shut down in Morocco. The government has closed eateries, cinemas, theaters, sports, public uh, clubs, baths and other entertainment venues because of COVID-19 fears. The order spares markets and shops that sell essential items and restaurants that deliver food. Morocco has 29 confirmed COVID-19 cases and one death. One patient had also recovered. The country has suspended all international flights. All schools have been closed and public gatherings of more than 50 persons are banned. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. The economic effect of the coronavirus outbreak and spread in Africa is predicted to be dire. Economists say the coronavirus outbreak will very likely have deep impact on the continent's economies. They say border closings, flight cancellations and other measures being established to curb the disease on the continent would definitely be very consequential for the continent. The United Nations is estimating a substantial drop in Africa's GDP rate from 3.2% to 1.8% this year. Secretary General of the UN Economic Commission for Africa, Vera Songwe, said in Addis Ababa, quote, this is going to deal a very severe blow to growth, end quote. That is ZNN News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.